Do you want to create some mesmerizing deep fake videos with stable diffusion? Stop searching because we got you covered. This easy method with the help of the reactor and the muv 2 muv extension will get you those amazing face swapped video results. To facilitate video face swaps, having the muv 2 muv and reactor extensions installed is crucial. Let's proceed. Our initial requirement involves the muv 2 muv extension, a meticulously designed automated solution tailored for video to video tasks. For additional details, you can refer to the GitHub URL provided in the description, which is also essential for the installation process within the Stable Diffusion UI. To install the extension, proceed to the Extension tab in the Stable Diffusion user interface. Then, choose the Install from URL tab, where you should input the specified URL for the extension's Git repository. Lastly, click the Install button and patiently wait for a brief period as the extension completes its installation. To acquire the muv to muv extension in the Stable Diffusion UI, navigate to the Installed tab. Once there, find and click on Check for Updates. Subsequently, select the option Apply and Restart UI to apply the extension. This procedure guarantees that your system stays current and undergoes a seamless restart for effective integration of the changes. After the UI has been restarted, make sure to close and restart the web UI entirely to ensure the accurate installation of the extension and prevent any potential errors. After completing a full restart of Stable Diffusion and confirming that the process unfolded smoothly, you should notice a newly added tab labeled muv to muv in the navigation bar. With this confirmation, let's move forward to address the next requirement, which is the Reactor extension. Reactor, an extension designed for the Stable Diffusion web UI, simplifies and refines the process of face swaps. In case you haven't installed this crucial extension, we offer a comprehensive written tutorial guiding you through the installation and usage of the Reactor extension. Additionally, there is a video tutorial available for reference. Be sure to explore these resources for a thorough understanding of how to incorporate the Reactor extension into your workflow. When crafting a deepfake video, ensure you have an initial video ready to go, as this will be utilized for applying the face swap. With the initial video ready, move forward by navigating to the muv to muv tab, situated in the top navigation bar within Stable Diffusion. Paste the video onto the canvas to advance further in the process. Let's proceed with configuring the muv to muv settings using the DDIM sampling method. Set the sampling steps to 30. Ensure that the width and height maintain an identical 916 aspect ratio. Alternatively, you can replicate the dimensions of the initial input video by selecting the icon next to the width and height parameter sliders. Set the CFG scale to 7, and for denoising strength, choose 0. We've opted for a denoising strength of 0 to preserve the video in its original state, making only the necessary adjustments to the face. Set the movie FPS to 30, and leave the max FPS at the default value of minus 1. The seed is also set to minus 1. Scrolling down, you'll encounter a drop-down labeled Movie Editor. Currently, it is advisable to close the Movie Editor drop-down menu as of the present moment. It is still in beta and not operating correctly. With the Muv to Muv settings in place and the Movie Editor drop-down closed, let's direct our attention to the second installed extension, the Reactor extension. For those who have been following this guide, locate the drop-down menu featuring the Reactor extension. Open the drop-down and upload an image of the preferred face to be applied to the video. In this tutorial, we've opted for the captivating visage of Salma Hayek. To initiate the Reactor extension, ensure that you enable the extension and set both the source image and target image parameters to zero. The remaining Reactor settings can remain in their default configuration. For more comprehensive details about the Reactor extension, you can delve into the official Reactor GitHub page. The link is provided in the description. To proceed, we will scroll to the top and select a checkpoint. For a lifelike video, we suggest opting for Realistic Vision, which is among our preferred checkpoints. When configuring, remember the following for the positive and negative prompts. Due to the denoising strength being set to zero, you can leave the positive and negative prompt field empty. With a denoising strength of zero, the prompt won't introduce any alterations. The process will solely execute the face swap utilizing the image specified within the reactor extension. Now it's time to click on Generate. 
the processing time may fluctuate based on the graphics cards you have. After the rendering process is complete, we've successfully crafted a deep fake video with ease, thanks to the assistance of the Move to Move and the Reactor extension. The resulting face swapped video can be located in the following directory Stable Diffusion Web UI, Outputs, Move to Move videos. In summary, creating deepfake videos with Stable Diffusion, Move to Move, and Reactor extensions is a straightforward process, offering accessible video manipulation. Always use these tools responsibly, taking into account the ethical implications of your content. We trust you found the process enjoyable and are excited to experiment with your own video face swaps. Happy creating and don't forget to subscribe.